hi guys and welcome to my channel it's your girl miss nabam i have not vlogged in a while and i'm really sorry about that um a lot was just happening and i wanted to film a sit down but i couldn't get a place to film my sit down people have seen my room the background colors are just not really sit down -y. my room has a lot of different like a lot is going on in my room it's so hard for me to shoot a video and for you people to pay attention to what i'm seeing and not what is behind me like now this wall is patched this wall has something my door has stuff so like basically that is what i was avoiding or whatever anyways um i've just realized i've not closed that door the door so anyone can come in at any time today is on monday the 28th of February I am um, I have a meeting it's currently 7 20 I'm supposed to be in town by 11 but I just want to leave here by 9 I don't want to tell me if you don't I don't want to, to be late or anything um I undid my hair over the weekend on Saturday because I have a professional meeting and my weight hair was not really, I didn't feel like it would sell me well. Then over the weekend, I've been quite sick. But that time, even talking there, I'm talking. But literally, I dug that grave myself. I ate a, a, a nice pop or a popsicle at night on Friday or on Thursday night. And with this weather, the weather in Lokabete is bad. Like Lokabete is so cold. So then imagine with all that cold, me eating a nice pop. So I fell sick over the weekend. But right now I'm way better. Anyways, we're going to be getting ready. And then um today I hope this meeting goes successfully. That's my only prayer. I have not slept by the way, I slept at two. I couldn't sleep so like at one I was jandling and I think it took me like 14 to one hour to fall asleep but at least I had my alarm and I woke up so now I want to make my bed, wash my utensils, do what because then again I don't want to leave my room looking You will need to know the man I speak so highly that man can change your life from zero to hero in no time. He can take you from the grass to your grace in no time. He's a man of his word, oh, as faithful as he say so. You will not see him changing, no. At your weakest, he is strong, oh. When you're blinded, he still sees, oh. You will not so can we brag about to go door? Can we do it for the rest of the day today? God, we love and love and love you. We love you. Love 
Okay, so I have finished dressing up, but I've not really my legs yet. <laughs> um, I went in with this a bit earlier. Before I apply primer, I usually apply my day cream like way earlier because I feel like it needs to settle first before I can do like anything else on it. So this is the Nivea Perfect and Radiant Even Tone Day Cream. It's SPF 15. I don't want to add sunscreen because it makes me shine a lot so i'm going to go with my dr rachel dr rachel primer mm. yeah so let's go i really hope you can see me because i'm using my back camera so now if you don't <laughs> So one thing I've realized guys is I do not have um, flats, like I literally, my black heels are my only shoes that I can call official, which um, I really need to now get flats because I can't keep like walking with the same shoe and it's getting quite old so I can't um, keep doing that. So I'm going to fill in my eyebrows real quick. Let me turn you so that you can see. I hope you do. I'm not drawing my eyebrows. I'm just like shading a bit over them and just giving them some shape. So up next is cleaning my brows. So up next, like it's foundation, I'm just going to put a bit like this and then go in with my brush and blend, 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 blend. done like literally guys i'm done i'm done like i'm not adding powder i'm not adding a lighter i'm not adding anything i'm done the way i'm looking like that i usually have a beauty marker over here so i just go back with a liner because i don't know how to line my eyes so <laughs> i will enhance my beauty marks with my eyeliner um I have a hooded I have hooded eyes so I've just never understood how to line it I have watched all hooded eye tutorials but I have never learned anything and I still move regardless so this is lipstick I know it's a really nice shade, but then again, um, I am usually so aware 
of brands and considering today is not a day i can have a sheet um i need a brand i trust <laughs> but i'm torn between this one and this one but i'm thinking of doing more with this one but the thing with this one is that it um it's huda huda is a nice brand that it rubs off a bit maybelline does not rub off like the lipstick you have in the morning on you is the lipstick you're going to have in the evening on you it's only flaw is that um it's very it dries so if your lips are not moist you'll really suffer but i'm going to go with this because i'm wearing a yellow master dish skirt i really don't want to i don't think purple is the color to be on my lips so yeah yeah I like and that's otherwise but I like how I'm looking like so far wipe off the little concealer I had here I am so anxious guys like I am super anxious like damn damn <sighs> let me wear my watch Okay, so let me try and give you people a backstory. Um, I am going, I have been called in for, I think, a final interview or a discussion. I have been looking for a job, but this specific company is in some way special because I looked for, I the first time I applied for this job was in November of 2020. It was, but it was basically about social media. I went to their offices, approached them. But then they were working remotely, so I got one person who advised me and told me to keep looking at the website. I will get a job. Um, if a job comes up, I can apply. Then in December, I still sent out another um, letter to them because I really didn't think their social media was nice. I trust my social media skills that much. So I wrote them a letter again. It was unsuccessful. So last last semester when we came to school physically, that was on November of October something. Um, when we came to school physically, immediately I saw an application. Um, no, <coughs> they had put out an advert for a sales and marketing um entry level gig um apparently it's for three months but i am really hoping it's like you can be retained or whatever so i went in for the interview i applied i was called in for the interview like a month later that was at the end of november i think november 29th the interview went well however i was so scared that i failed in it a little bit because i didn't answer some questions how i was supposed to i had not thoroughly researched about the company but the interview was really nice. I really enjoyed it. I remember I was told to talk about myself and which I did. And then the guy goes, you forgot to tell me something important. I'm like, what have I forgotten? I have praised myself from the very beginning. And he goes, you've forgotten to tell me you went to Elias. So I think that really made the interview a little bit fun and all that. Then um, they told me they'll contact me in seven working days, which they did not. So I assumed I did not get the job. So in January, I'm just chilling, I'm minding my own business, and I receive um, this email from them. End of January, they're calling me in for a second interview that my first interview was successful. So I go in for the second interview, it was during my exams. Luckily on that day, I did not have an exam. That's how you know God really overworks. I did not have an exam on that day. So I go in for the second interview. We were interviewed by the CEO himself this time. And we were told, or I had my own things, but like they told us we are successful or whatever. <laughs> so um, three weeks pass, I'm like, what the hell? So I send an email and I'm like, yo, I was told I've gotten this job, but I've never been contacted. So what exactly is going to happen? And the HR guy actually responded and told me, um, no, just chill a little bit. Um, give us some time. We will contact you when the time is right. 
so for me i was just like oh my god like no 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 these people can keep me we were talking with my mom and my mom was just like these people can keep you until me like and my mom was like let's give them up to me and see what will happen so i'm talking to my mom today and then tomorrow i go to the library to just help um so the whole of last week I am in my final semester in campus and we have only three units and they are online. So um, I cannot stay idle for that long. My mental sanity will just, I'll just break. I'll start having panic attacks. I'll fall into depression and all that. So something I used to do was I'd wake up in the morning, shower and go to the library, maybe do something productive or just sit and watch something but at least i got out of my bed i didn't want to stay in bed for that long so um that's what i was doing so i talked to my mom the previous day and then the next day i go to the library hangover but i got better and when i was leaving i cheated it like literally a work day <laughs> The clock ticked five, I closed, I was like, I told the person I was with, so see you, bye, I'm gone. So five um, reaches and um, while I'm walking back to my room, I receive a phone call. And this guy is like, hi, I am so and so from here. Um, I'd like for you to come into the office on Monday. I want us to discuss. Um which i think i've gotten the job because he said for a discussion not for an interview and i was like yo what like i saw that phone call and i screamed okay like i screamed in my heart and then i screamed a bit loudly but i can't scream loudly so you understand like it was a very simple scream so it's like yo what wow Nini, nini. then i call my mom i give her the good news and all that so and something he said is congratulations for reaching this far if it wasn't an interview if it was an interview i don't think i'd be to <laughs> okay maybe this i don't know um but that's where we're headed that's like a quick 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 um update for you people that's why i'm saying i'm bragging about god the song that you've heard from the very beginning because God's timing is great, man. God's timing is great. I'm about to finish school. And I'm glad that, like, God did not let it, like, go. Like, yo. Anyways, um, I don't want to run late. It's currently, it's, shit, 8.55. I wanted to leave here by 9. So I will see you people later. The next time I'll be holding this camera is to tell you what exactly happened. I don't have a bank account. <laughs> so let's wait and see how that will go. But yeah. So if you're watching this, please let this serve as an encouragement for you that God is really working. I have been interested in this company for since 2020. And the door is getting opened in 2022. But God's timing is perfect because he didn't want me to finish school and be jobless and wonder what I'm going to do with my life. So even in as much as it's an entry level job and it's for three months as of now, I am so glad and I am so happy that God's timing was perfect. So, yeah, believe me, like, God is working. God is overworking in your life. Don't give up. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. I keep getting this filthy lift <laughs> that does not even have me. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? guys um i got to school i came back uh i'm using my front camera so i'm sorry the quality is a little bit different from what we were used to but anyways um it went well i am starting on the 15th but i have not yet um signed i don't know why i'm using a lot of um um my grammar has disappeared for a hot minute 
I have not yet signed a contract. So they told us they will call us um again sometime to go get it signed. Uh but I'm back. I was so hungry immediately I got here. I went to get myself lunch. So I have already eaten. I want to take my meal. So this is what I'm taking. In my back shamoja and a moxil pill. I'm feeling better by the way. I'm feeling uncomfortable over here, but it's way better. Then okay, I was taking other drugs, but I'm not <laughs> My sickness was self-cheated, you guys. Like, icky booby. <laughs> so let me give you people a fun fact. When I was young, my mom ever owned a chemist. So she knows, like, anything and everything about meds. Like, at home, it's even rare for us to go to the hospital. Because we have a free consultant there. You just tell her... And she will prescribe drugs for you and you will feel better for a fact. So anyways, right now it's um 108. I want to get a quick life. Um I want to go to the library to write some proposals. There is an event we are planning and we need to write proposals for it. But first, I think I'll chill over here till uh, till around two. I need to charge my phone. Then I'll see you there uh, at the library. So let's go. But I'll only be there for like two hours. So yeah, let's go. I don't know if I've shown you my out. Okay, yeah, I have. I have shown you my outfit. Anyways. Can we brag about to go door? Can we do it for the rest of the day today? When I start to talk about God, you will need to know the man I speak so highly of. That man can change your life from zero to hero in no time. He can take you from the grass to 